Here I am at Harad Oriental in Alexandria, Virginia. You know, it's just a wonderful time to visit. Z is pulling out some fascinating pieces for me. This one is a 7.5 by 17.5 original Serape. Um, the, the size is, is, is extremely unusual. We don't see these. This is not at all a standard size. In fact, um, it tends to be a rather old, old style. Um, Persian homes before the commercial era were um, had long narrow rooms so long narrow carpets like this were much in style this one it was possible this is possibly a, a in the old old style of Serape or was possibly a special order you know um, when we talk about Serape rugs um, they confuse some people. They confuse them to no end. Let me explain a little bit about what a Serapi rug was 100, 130 years ago. Um, in, the Hira, um, in the Hariz region, um, the best rugs and short were, were the Bakshaish. Similar in knot count, similar in quality, but a longer pile were the Serapis. Um, and then the, uh, then the lesser ones, uh, which we would just generally call Heres now, were generally called Goravan or Yaravan. So we have a rug here that was, in, um, that was made to the higher knot count, better construction, better quality rug. When it was new, it had a longer pile. Now, what does that mean for you today? Well, actually what it means is that Serapis are probably often a better choice than Bakshaish because they started with more wool and they hold up better in into their antique period but now that you've seen this and you know I had to go on up to the the second floor balcony to shoot this because it's just so large at 17 feet it's hard to get it in with with this little camera I have so let's go on down now and take a look at it closer up now as I take a closer look at this we can see the colors this is very much in the, in the, in the traditional Serapi color range. Um, the reds, the blues, you know, um, um, this was done this was done on the uh, uh, banks of Mount Sabalon, which means there's a great deal of copper in the water and the colors reflected. You know, trace minerals in in the um, in the water make all the difference in rugs like this. That's why that's why a Kazakh has got one one tonality and a Serapi has got something else. As we take a look at this, you know, they just pulled this out. In a showroom, this would be nice and cleaned up and vacuumed and everything, but here, here I am in a warehouse shooting it. But you still get the idea of what it looks like. We've got a, a very, very bold, dramatic rug with, with just a really nice range of good colors, good design. Uh, we've got the uh, a rather unusual, a, a rather unusual medallion that's been stretched out at seven and a half by seventeen and a half it just it gives them an odd shape to work with so the so the medallion in a square rug would look very very different this one has almost a stretched look to it but that's just the nature of the size Here I am at Harad Oriental in Alexandria, Virginia. You know, it's just a wonderful time to visit. Z is pulling out some fascinating pieces for me. This one is a 7.5 by 17.5 original Serapi. Um, 